Trent, how is anyone going to tell you and Matt Carpenter apart? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. That's, that's up for y'all to decide, I guess. You guys look identical. I mean, it's it's it's, it's kind of it's kind of eerie. Oh, well, I guess that's a compliment to me. When we when we first got a chance to go ahead and meet him on the the Zoom after he signed, he spent a lot of time talking about about you. I guess you guys work out together in the off season and your work work ethic. What kind of guy is Matt Carpenter? Uh, great people. I mean, he was uh, really one of the first guys in the big leagues that I really looked up to. Um, when I first got drafted, I got a chance to hit with him. We were part of the same agency. So um, I've always looked up to him. I'm ecstatic to be able to play with him this year. And, we, yeah, we've been working out the last, I think, two or three years together. So it's been a lot of fun. How does he fit into the group of vets that you've, you guys have brought in himself? Nelson Cruz is another guy that fits that equation. Um, I think veteran presence is a big deal in the clubhouse throughout a season throughout, for a club. So um, I think he's going to help and just bring uh, all the wisdom that he's had from playing over the last uh, decade in the big leagues as well as all the success he's had. So uh, I'm excited to pick his brain, um, get to know him a little better, and um, play with him. Love for Trent Grisham. How do you put perspective on the type of season you had last year? So, some ups, some downs, but some big ups, especially when it mattered in the postseason. Yeah, I uh, went through a lot of struggles throughout the regular season this year, um, but I think I'm going to be better for it. So um, it was really cool to see a payoff in the in the postseason and be able to help the team um, advance as far as we did. But um, I know I know a lot of the guys in these clubhouses are uh, really really hungry to do better than we did last year and uh, get back to, get to the World Series. When the season ended, and you had time to go ahead and, and and get away from it. Did you have any idea of what what, what caused some of those struggles early on? Um, it was a multitude of different things, um, but it was nice to get back at the end of the year and really um, process what, it, what all had happened um, um, and how to move forward. So uh, I feel like I'm in a good spot now, um, good headspace, uh, ready to just get going and uh, go to battle with these guys. How big a deal was, um, was Bob Melvin's confidence in you? That was awesome. I mean, he had, he had faith in me from day one. Um, even when I was struggling, he was uh, in the background um, praising me and telling me uh, that I would come out of it. So um, it was really good, and it goes a long way with, for me um, having the confidence, having that confidence in me um, from a manager. New outfit dynamic. You're going to have a new guy to your right and a familiar face, I believe, to your left. Mm -hmm. What do you expect from this outfield, and how, how, how quickly can you go and acclimate with Juan Soto back and left? Uh, I think we're I think we're going to be good this year. Um, we got uh, three really good athletes out there. Um, Adam. Adam as well is a very good athlete. I love watching him uh, patrol center field. So it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. I think we got a really good group. Um, now it's just about getting out there together and uh, working out all the kinks. 